Well, 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 look at here. See that? See that? Leupold just sent me my new toy. This is their new VX5 HD. It's the scope that kind of falls in between the VX6 and the VX3 or VX3i. They sent me my new CDS dials. Hmm. Been waiting for this. Feel like Christmas here. Christmas in June. Looky here. <clears throat> I usually tell them to send me the most simple, easy to use scopes they have, but this one looks to have a lot going on here. You can see it's a 30 millimeter tube. This one, a VX5, means the, the range of magnification is from three to 15, so it's a multiple of five, or two to 10. Now, if this was a VX3i, you would have a magnification of 3x. In other words, a 3 to 9, a 4 to 12. Uh, I have some VX6s. A VX6 has the magnification from 2 to 12, 3 to 18, and so on. What you get with this custom dial system is a dial that comes with it. You'll see right now, it just comes with that dial. It doesn't have any load information on it. So I shoot these Nosler partitions right here, Nosler ammo, 165 grain in this 308. This is bad medicine for everything. So I know in the chrono what speed those are normally at. Uh, so I had them etch me a dial and you'll see it says 308 win, 165 grain Nosler partition. Uh, I'm trying to remember what other information I had put on there. Oh, I know that in the chrono it's 2,800 feet per second plus or minus. I mean, the, the tolerances and variances are very, very slim, uh, in everything we run through there. Uh, I've got it set for an average elevation of 7,500 feet, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and a quarter inch MOA, or one quarter MOA, I should say. Uh, so <clears throat> what I'll do when I go out to the range and I get my zero, so I told them, make this dial a zero for 100 yards. So once I get this scope, on the rifle, zeroed in at 100 yards. I pulled this dial off and there's just a couple little set screws you see. There's three of them, one there, one here, and one there. You loosen those, take this one off, put that one on, cinch your back down, and you're ready to go. And the reason I use this custom dial system is, it's just for hunting ranges, I have not found anything that is as simple and as effective. Very often I'm handing a rifle to a guest hunter. And maybe you do also, maybe it's a new hunter, maybe it's a spouse, maybe it's a, a child. But you think about, oh, hold four inches high or hold three inches over its back or whatever. Everybody has a different idea what four inches high or three inches over its spine is. With this, if it's out there at 300 yards, <clears throat> you spin the dial. I don't know if I'm at three there. Oh. You spin the dial to 300 and you hold that on. You don't have to worry about, oh, hold high for this, hold high for that. So even though Leupold calls it the CDS system, the custom dial system, I call it CDS stands for click, dial, and shoot. Click my range finder, get a range, dial it, shoot. This is the first one they've sent me with the CDS dial that has the zero lock two. Right now you see that this zero lock stop is in the out position. I push it in and this is how you know that you've already went around more than one revolution. 
see how it pull, it recessed and came back in. That's how you know you're on your second revolution. So this scope will go out to some crazy distances as far as the dials. Got the side focus dial right there. I don't know if you can see that. If it's got this gold ring, you know it was made in Beaverton, Oregon. 44 millimeter objective lens. Like just about all Leupold scopes on the side, you got your windage dial. Take it off and that's where you'll, you'll see now the, the Leupold ones now have this pop-up dial. So you saw that I popped that up. And for me, I usually just get the duplex reticle, which you can get multiple reticles, which for those of you new, that's you want your crosshairs light, in other words, thin. You want them thick, you want them a mix of the two. You're, I'm just gonna say this, you're not gonna find this quality of optic at the price ranges that Leupold is in. So now, <clears throat> the job today, and we'll do a video on this, is to go <clears throat> mount this scope on the 308, pull the old scope off, mount this one on, make sure that everything is level, get my eye relief based on where I want it relative to my how I address the, the stock when I get ready to shoot. Then after I mount it, we'll bore sight it. Then we'll find our zero at 100 yards. Then we'll put this dial on there. And then we'll start checking to make sure that the etching on the dials, I'll dial it out. Uh, we have gongs out at our range out 500 yards. Uh, I'll be ready to go. This will get a lot of use and a lot of abuse for sure in the next year.